high past the rapture things. So he talked about the field of faith wanting more. And then God did give more. When I began to learn how to read, that's when the Lord gave me more. And he kept the end away just long enough. And that's what he does by grace. What he does by grace is he keeps the enemy from overtaking you. He keeps the enemy from destroying you. He keeps the enemy from uh, utterly just wiping you off the face of the planet. Because that's what the devil want to do. So that's why he be attacking children. And that's kind of some people's motivation behind abortion is that some people just don't care. They don't want to have any children or they just don't. That's some people. Not saying it's all, but I'm saying the enemy is like that. That the enemy is, he will, if he know that child will take down his kingdom, he will do anything he can to take out that child. If he knew this child was salvation deliverance, he would do anything he can to destroy a child. And he don't wait. He don't wait till they learn. He try to ruin them as in the beginning. That's why he be having children laughing in church and be children not laughing because it's something funny, but just making fun of people or just playing around not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I'm not talking about babies. I'm talking about children who know better, who know that you're supposed to watch and do and be respectful. And that's what the enemy is like. He tries to bring in foolishness. And he tries to ruin a child by foolishness. And sometimes that's how he ruins older, even mature people. People that are supposed to be mature in Christ. He ruins them through foolishness. That if he could get them to act like a child. And if he could get them to think like a child. That he could mess them up. If he could get them trying to be funny or trying to be likable or trying to do what everybody else want to do and say what God wants them to do, he can mess them up. And that's why um, our parents, that's why our mother didn't allow us to act up like that. Didn't, didn't consider it acceptable for us to act up in church or to be having fun or goofing off or playing around unless it was after church or something. Because church is no joke. Church is a school ground. It is. There's a school ground where you're not all and just reading the Bible, but it's teaching you how to live. It's teaching you how to stay before the Lord, how to praise Him, how to worship Him, how to bow down to Him, how to give Him the glory, how to understand scriptures, how to get revelation, how to understand spiritual gifts, how to get protection from armor. And that's all. That's what you got, got to go through or what you should have went through by growing up in church what you should have went through by growing up growing up in church is those things that that those are principles and those are methods and mechanisms that can help you overcome the devil they can help you destroy the yoke of the devil because the devil's going to come at any i said any that's why religious school i think religious schools are important because i, I started at religious school it helped me build character and that's what you can't, and that's what they always say. You can't build character without religion. Because religion, it gives you, it tells you how to build character. It's character separated from religion is nothing. You need that religion. You need to be taught, this is how you, this is how you act when you praise God. This is how you act when you read the word of God. This is what you say, boy, Lord, bless to read of his word. This is what you do. You need that uniform, uniform type of teaching so that you can understand how to respect God. And that's what the Lord said. It starts with the home. It starts with the parents. The parents have to show it. They have to role model it. Because children, they can't read yet. They're just going to do what their parents do. And when they learn how to read, then they're more accountable. Then when they go to church or when they go to school they you do, and they listen to a teacher, that's what they, it's teaching them how to listen to God. It's teaching them how to act and to do what they're supposed to be doing. It's teaching them how to be respectful. Because God's not going to tolerate disarmament. God's not going to tolerate people taking his credit. And he is not going to tolerate disarmament. God wants someone who honors him. He wants someone who respects him. He even, take, he even expects that out of a young person. He don't care what age you are. He, he expects honor and respect. And he expects uh, uh, you to obey his laws to the best of your ability and to do to the best of your ability.